Mwebora, the predecessor of modern Muay Thai, has a rich history and a unique set of principles and techniques that have been passed down through generations. I am a Mwebora expert, and in this video I will break down the Mwebora featured in the manga Kenichi the Mightiest Disciple. The introduction of Mwebora in the manga happens in chapter 281, where Kenichi is challenged by Kokin, a Mwebora practitioner from Thailand. The first thing that I see is that this stance is not a proper Moiboran one and is probably inspired by the one used in Ong Bak, the most famous movie on Moiboran, which had some exaggerated features to make it more spectacular. Then we get a formal introduction to Moiboran from a flashback, and it is presented as the ancestor of Muay Thai used for killing in war. The battle ends with Kokin lowering his guard to pick Kinichi into punching, only for him to counter with Yan Era 1, which is a real Moiboran technique. The translation is wrong because it means push air one, the mythical three-headed elephant. I love how it is depicted behind the technique. From a technical standpoint, Yanera one is not one of the most practical techniques, but given that Kokin baited Kenichi into punching, it was easier for him to land it. This is definitely a realistic scenario and this kind of baits are used by fighters even at top levels. By the way, this is one of the first techniques we see in action in Onbak. Then they have their second fight in chapter 392. Here Kenichi is using a Muay Thai guard, while Kokin a Muay Boran guard, which resembles the one used by Master Yotong. Kokin wears the traditional rope wraps that were used before the introduction of gloves. They are probably intended to be made in the old way, with raw materials, which were darker than the ones commonly found today. He wears them past the wrist, and if also considering his stance and the way he fights, I would say that his style might come from Central Thailand. He also wears rope on the foot and shins, but this is not a real Thai tradition. The only style that wears rope on the shin is Milo Puri, but it only consists of a few rounds on the lower area. This is a real technique called Yota Klun Tap, which is an upward and diagonal descending elbow combined. They exchange strikes. This is a random pose taken from on back. The technique Yutiyota. Another pose from on back. Later in the fight, Koking taunts Kenichi again to make him throw a kick, only to counter with Iran Mumpandin, another Moiboran technique, which is one of the 15 standard look Mai. It can cause a knockout, but it cannot break the neck. Then we have Koking's master in a stance that resembles the Mailopuri one. Kenichi attacks with a low leg sweep and Kokin dodges and lands Rusi Fan, which is a Moiboran technique, but that's not what it is called. It's actually Rusi Ern. There is only one problem, Kenichi is low on the ground and Kokin jumped, so this technique is not really viable in this case, I have no clue how he landed it. The master does the same thing, but it's called Kuryu Rusi Fan, I hope to have pronounced it right which is not a real technique. According to the wiki, it's a sort of spinning variation of the previous technique, something completely impractical and useless. Then we have another Yan Era 1, and the masters uses Sonbun Yan Era 1, which like before is not a real technique, it's a spinning drop variation, totally useless and impractical. Kenichi tries to stop it with his hands, which doesn't make any sense. Look how he's positioned, he will just need to step inside the attack or diagonally back and he can even counter. Instead, he counters with a wrestling-like throw. Okay, we're back again in the master's fight, and Kenichi's master uses Narok Kinari Lennam. Kinari Lennam is a real technique, which consists in a sort of back -o kick done like this, or with the opponent in a guillotine, but the latter application is not so great. There are many better things you can do. Kenichi's master lands an ascending front kick, which is a trademark of Maikorat from Northeast Thailand. Kokin's master lands a jumping downward elbow, which is a real Moiboran technique. But Ganraba is not in the name, I guess it was added because he kinda buffed himself before launching it. The real one is only Ramazun Kwankwarn. Kenichi's master lands a technique which, according to the wiki, is a series of downward elbows called Bakwan Sabatna. Kwang Sabatna is a real technique, but is a diagonal ascending elbow from behind. Kokin's master lands a backflip kick, like the one used by Tony Ja, the own back actor in another one of his movies. Personally, I don't know this Moiboran technique, it might be a real one, but I'm glad my master never waste my time learning something so unpractical. Then, the masters perform their Waiku Ram Wai, and what they say is true, it was a dance to pay homage to the gods, the king, the masters and the dear ones and it was also used to check the fighting ground for any obstacles before the introduction of rings. 
Then the master said, bodysuit lukmai. Lukmai means complementary technique, but nothing like this exists. According to the wiki, bodysuit lukmai is a sort of ultimate secret technique, but the lukmai are nothing secret, they are just techniques that complement the fundamental ones called mai mai. Here we can see some random poses and the technique is not clear, it just looks like a storm of strikes. Coating slips a punch and throw an upward elbow strike called Sai Liu Lan. This is a real Moguran technique, but it's more commonly a spinning back ascending elbow. This counter attack is predominantly known as Yak Yan Pla. It's actually very effective and was a signature counter of the legend Samura Kam Singh. This elbow was also the famous one that Anderson Silva saw in Ong Bak and used to win a fight by knockout. Then Kogin attacks with Akko Era 1, a standard Mai Mai of Mai Boran, but this is a climbing variation, it's more for show than for real fighting. Kenichi stops it. I guess he's just incredibly strong to stop the entire momentum of the technique with the hands. Then Kogin is wide open and Kenichi lands his best shot. Kogin grabs Kenichi and lands Tabien Feng Tor, which is a jumping knee and elbow strike. A real technique. Kenichi exploits the grab to counter with a shoulder throw, and Kokin does some breakdance which is definitely not my one. Ok, now there is a sequence a bit confusing in my opinion. Kenichi says, In the continuously unbroken stream of attacks and defenses, there are parts in one defense that are not being consciously controlled, and attacks Kokin. He blocks it, but the strike is so powerful that it slips through the defense and lands. To me, it looks like he blocked it with both hands. I find it hard for the foot to slip through. It would have made more sense if Kenichi did some sort of fake to create an opening in Kokin's defense. Here, Kokin is making a poker face to hide the damage, which is actually something very common in Muay Thai fights, because showing signs of damage scores against you. And then there is this beautiful shot of the Moeboran guard, amazing. Here, Kokin lands another real Moeboran technique called Praram Sakotap, but it's not written in the manga. The fight ends with Kenichi using his master special Muay Thai kick to win. Indeed, Kokin didn't have any problem with it before, but they have received damage and perhaps Kenichi had more of what in Thailand is called heart, and ultimately landed the final blow. It might also be a reference to Bruce Lee's quote, I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times and that the basics are always the key. Lastly, we have one extra technique which is a real one, one of the 15 standard look Mai. It consists of a double uppercut. I believe the author did an overall good job in portraying Maboran, even though there are some inaccuracies. It wasn't necessary to invent strange variations of real techniques, since Maboran already has many that look spectacular and engaging. If you want to learn more about Maboran and fight like a Kenichi character, then check out my channel, in which I upload tutorials and informative videos on the art. You can also claim a copy of my free ebook, the link is in the description.